Welcome back, everyone, to the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour. We are here with Saga One, starting as CEO. I'm with my man, Hell Pockets. How you doing, dog? Doing all right, man. Glad to see you in here, dude. Oh, How are you yeah. doing? I'm doing great, man. CEO has already been a heck of a time. It's been real fun yes. so far, you know. And we are getting into more pool action when it comes to Dragon Ball Fighters, right? This is just day one. There's going to be action packed Dragon Ball Fighters all weekend. And yeah, we're going to be going up against, I believe, De I don't know how to pronounce it. Do you know how to pronounce this? That says uh, Destinite. Destinite. There we Destinite go. You're right, you're right. Superior Shadow. Okay. I'm glad I deferred yeah. to you because oh, I, was, I was mixed. I'm, I'm guessing I was right now. Mixed. No, I feel like you're right. That could be Destinity. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I was, gonna, I was like, oh, I better just stop right where I am. But yeah, we'll, we'll have these guys coming up soon. Yeah, we already saw a lot of heavy hitters. Like, well, we, where were some of the heavy hitters during your block? Because I didn't get to see any. We saw Goichi go up against JDR. Oh. Uh, that was... Bro. I have a story about Goichi. My man yeah. picked the one, the one sink in the bathroom that didn't do automatic. He oh, was sitting there for like a good ten seconds, like. <laughs> See, that's it. Only, only Goichi like, can mix himself up. Yeah, like that. I was like, I was like, come here, dog. I'm done. <laughs> here you you can have my sink. Let it's me okay. show you how to do that. Now yeah. you're brothers for life. Exactly. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I provided him with a working sink. <laughs> He's keeping his hands clean. He's not going to get sick now. No, that's awesome, man. Yeah, so, you definitely don't want to, like, have dirty hands out yeah. here. Well, well, unless they're dirty with your opponent's blood or exactly, something yeah, like that. You know you know? I mean, yeah, of course. So you saw Goichi. Was there any, saw any Goichi, other Goichi. We've seen uh, Sutenchi, who I hadn't seen play oh, before. Oh, really? Pretty solid. We also okay, played, okay. saw him play Goichi. I saw um, Super Noon, I believe. Was Super Noon's up here doing Lost damage. Soul, Lost, Lost Soul's Soul, yeah. up there doing damage. Yeah. We saw UA Terry Bogard up in there. Oh, yeah. It's, there's a lot of killers out here today. I, I, got, I got Lost Soul in my fantasy bracket. Oh, uh, really? I feel, yeah, I feel like Lost Soul is always one of those guys when he goes to the big tournaments. I feel like he's just like... He's one of those guys that will automatically make it pretty far. Yeah, like, definitely. You know, maybe not like a top eight, but like I feel like he's always top thirty-two. I think he's gonna do well here, but at the same time, there's just there, there's just so many people here that I haven't even seen yet that I know they're here. It's just it's mind-boggling. This yeah. is only day one of the action. We have a oh, second day tomorrow, and then the finals on the th on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait for it, man. We already saw, I believe, uh, yeah, Nakio was in the, the bracket already yes. as well. Leffen uh, prioritizing Dragon Ball Fighters this tournament. That's crazy. Yeah, man. It's definitely a new world here as the tour mm -hmm. has started. Again, this is just Saga 1 for CEO. This is literally the first event for the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man, we, we are literally just getting started. And they look like they're uh, trying to set up the, the PS4. Okay, like. okay, yeah. okay. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, I mean, no, it's been it's been great. You know, this is the inaugural trip for, through the DBFZ World Tour. Oh yeah, uh, everybody's showing up for it. You can earn a Dragon Ball from winning this. And I was talking to Yves earlier. How crazy is that stipulation? <laughs> yeah. If you collect all seven Dragon Balls and you just go straight to Grant, uh, unprecedented. That's so yeah, that's so wild. Uh, definitely going to be hard to accomplish. That's why. That's yeah. why I feel like it's. If you do it, I feel like you kind of you, you earned the, it. Yeah, the, yeah, you definitely you earned it. Like you know? it's it's that hard to do. Um, but I was going to ask you about Goichi. Was he playing his normal team? Was he playing Gohan? or No, he was not playing Gohan. Okay, he was okay, running okay. the Cell, Vegeta, and... Not Bardock? Bardock, yeah. Oh, Bardock. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it's a traditional Bardock, team. Yeah. Okay, right, right. Traditional team. Uh, right. I have not seen him play Gohan in months, actually. Right, yeah, I heard I heard yeah. the whispers that he was, like, picking him back up a little bit. I mean, but I wouldn't be surprised, especially with so many people like Kazunoko doing so much great damage yeah. with adult Gohan. He might be looking at, say, maybe I just... Maybe I went. I thought too soon. Maybe yeah, I gave yeah. up on him too soon. He might still have some legs on him. Yeah, exactly. I feel like in tournament play, right, in two out of three, you the character variety is very important. I feel like yes. it, the lack of uh, matchup knowledge that people can exploit is like super good in two out of three format, right? Yeah, totally. Like that's why you see like Hook and God succeeding with Piccolo over the mm. Japanese players, right? That's why you see the Ginyus at next level battle circuit. A lot of Ginyus. Oh, you know what I mean? And Are, the Yamchas. Doing work. Yeah, exactly. You, know? you see Kazunoko still doing work with the Gohan Yamcha show. Mm -hmm. Like, so I feel like characters like that, you see Sonic Fox picking Android 18 back up because people don't have as much practice against Android 18, right? And she's still deadly with the mix-up. Right. She was still a strong character. Just people thought they found something better in characters like 21, 16. Yeah. But the thing is, like, you know, you bring up Android 18 again, and it's just like her mix-up never was yeah, bad. Exactly. It was just... You know, people it's just people what it saw was, other you know? shiny objects and wanted to go play with. Those yeah, objects, exactly. You know, they saw. Well, let's let's face it. For the first couple of months, everybody thought Hit was the god. Oh yeah, you yeah, know? yeah of course. Of now, course. not so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like that's a you know that's obviously follows the tale of Sonic Fox, right? We yes. all thought he was godlike when Sonic Fox was playing Hit, and he was godlike. I see what you did there, by the way. Oh, the tale I, of Sonic no. Fox. Huh? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that, but anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, so, like, when Sonic was first starting out in this game, right, he played a very neutral control team, yes. right? The Hit, uh, whoever else was on the team, 16, mm -hmm. right? 
characters that can control the neutral very well. And then when he switched to sell uh, Go Tanks and Kid Boo, that's very much less yes. neutral control. But once he knocks you down, once he gets you to block, that's that was, way yeah, more hard. I think that's when we really saw with. Sonic Fox getting super comfortable with this game, being able to play it a little bit more like he wants to and just maul people all the time. Yeah. And that was a perfect team for that. Yeah, exactly. That's how he plays the other games, right? Like, mm -hmm. he, he's not about, like, neutral control. Right. He's about knocking you down or making you block and then making you guess. And guess every like, time. And if you have bad guesses, as they say in some yeah, communities, yeah, exactly. you know, you're going to get eaten alive. Yeah. And so I would definitely follow a man like that who's thinking about, you know, going back to Android 18, yeah. who's thinking about revisiting, you know, other, or even visiting new characters they don't get yeah. to play, you know? Yeah, you see Chris G picking up TN. You know, yeah, uh, that was a really big surprise. Now, he had told us that he was getting rid of Trunks, so yeah, I was yeah, waiting yeah, for that. Yeah. But I did not see the tension Han pickup mm -hmm. coming. That was monumental. That's just another character, right, that has strong mix-ups, has a real 2L, has a command grab, mm -hmm. like character that can put in the work. But it's just not one that you see that often. Yeah, but now he actually is getting a lot more popular. And speaking of characters that are getting a lot more popular, Super Saiyan Goku's making a comeback. Yeah, a lot of Super, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Goku's Goku. in the Dogra, Dogra was playing Super yeah, Saiyan Goku. Yeah, that was a surprise, too. Yeah. I didn't think his last team was that bad. It wasn't working for him, but no. he wanted to see Super Saiyan Goku. He wants that beam assist, as I told. I was telling yeah. you guys, you know, you, at the end of the day, if you got a beam assist, you've got neutral control. Yeah, for sure. And that's why I feel like uh, Sonic Fox abandoned that team, right? The Goku Black. He had mm -hmm. the neutral control with that assist, but he doesn't need that. That's not the type of player that's he not is. His kind of, that's not yeah. his wheelhouse, yeah. He's about scrambling in the neutral. His neutral is going to be superior just the, the way he plays naturally. So he'd that's rather a, have that lockdown. Oh, totally. And now we're going to see a Vegeta Blue, the second one today. We're seeing a lot of variety here, actually. I'm really liking this. Yeah, I've, yeah. I see. We saw a couple of Vegitos during our pool as well, me and Sejam. Mm. So yeah, this character is definitely on the rise. Oh, Vegito Blues is just like, ooh, that five L. Oh, this is Vegeta Blues. Yeah, yeah Vegeta Blues. Sorry, sorry. Oh man, he's just going straight to auto combos. Ooh, let's okay. Go. Oh, dropping him. Wow, with the resets. All right. Yo, he was swinging with that cross jam, but he got yeah. hit by an auto combo here. We got the reset. You might need to calm down a little ooh. bit here, but not yet, brother. Nah. Auto combo, yo. Oh, just keep doing that? the yeah. Keep building the Dragon Balls. Bro. Yeah. If you're gonna keep doing the auto combos, let's keep it. Let's get it. Yo, vanish on vanish. Let me keep this advantage. Oh man, he's using that auto combo for days. Yeah. All right. He finally got a chance to calm down Superior Shadow. He started out super hot. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. Auto combo launch. He gets the full one this time. Good. Dunk him. Oh, I like that extension. All right. Yeah, had time to super dash for him afterwards. Nice tech out into the jab. I forgot it does that now. They changed that. It now has it gives you an opportunity to bounce after the dunk. Mm. Ooh, Ooh. Crowd optimal jam. starter, right? Yeah. And Superior Shadow, as we were talking about Sonic Fox, playing a very similar game to Sonic Fox, where the gas just doesn't let up. Yeah, He's right. just always in your face. Oh. Yeah, the only time we really see Sonic Fox let up is when he has to deal with the Vegeta assist, right? And he'll yeah. try to bait it out and then attack afterwards. But Superior Shadow has nothing to worry about. There is no Vegeta assist on the other side. No, just a go to assist. And despite oh. how good that is on block, it's really hard to aim that correctly. Yeah. All right. That's the night. Oh, oh here we it's go. Revenger Assault in the corner. This is the dirtiest mix-up in the game. Oh, oh, but he didn't get the corner, though. Okay. Yeah, he didn't get the corner, and I think he did stand medium. He probably wanted the medium special. Yeah. The medium rebellion sphere, but. I mean, it would still be good. Yeah. And is that going to be enough? No. The Galaga, not enough to finish the job. Oh. Wow, what a call out. <laughs> what a call out. And he leveled up Gohan just for kicks. The Gallic Gun Sniper. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, got to watch that. He's in sparking right now, which means he does not bounce back after Super Dash. No punish? No punish. Whipped it. Didn't convert for the combo afterwards either. Destiny still has some sparking available. It's, it's a little unfortunate, but yeah, that's ha still looking pretty good here with the Super Saiyan Goku and oh, Destiny. 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 I'm looking at our player right cam. He is, has his hands in the air. Uh -oh. His controller apparently disconnected. That's going to be 1-0. He Shadow. was definitely in control of that match, too, right there. Mm. Like He definitely was looking pretty good to like take out this Super Saiyan Goku. Are they going to play it out? Are they going to play it out? All right. Okay. I would take the match, honestly. All right. No, that's cool. This is oh, tries to respond to level three. Oh, oh my connects. God. Let's see. 
Now, even though he's getting a chance to play this I mean, out, he's probably not mentally prepared for that because he's definitely like, oh, man, I just <laughs> yeah. held up the entire tournament. Right. I don't really want to play right now. All and he right. didn't even fight that. He didn't try to fight yeah. that. So Key Blast connects to finish the first match. It's going to be Superior Shadow of 1-0 over Destinite. Yeah, I hope you got to fix that stick, man. Yeah. Can't have those freak accidents happen like Definitely that. Definitely not. Not in tournament. This is uh, the first saga. Wow. Okay. Destiny was. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, no 2 A should get the smash follow up. Had a great opportunity to just do a ton of damage there. And, or at least spark up. Yeah. Right, right, dunk him. No dunk. Wow. These guys. The hard reset. Mm hmm. Well, I finish a combo when I can hit a reset. Yeah, right? Save my meter. Dunk him down. Oh, we're going to spin it now. It was all for now. Niagara Pummel. That, did, that should do more damage, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> has a cool name, at least. Yeah, it does oh. a great name. All right, that's going to be it for Vegeta Blue, though. I didn't want to say it. I didn't, I didn't know if it was going to be it for Vegeta Blue. Yeah, though. with the or way Vegeta. these guys are playing, you never know. I thought he was going to reset him again, <laughs> to be honest. All right, that's it for Vegeta Blue. That's the night sparking is gone. Superior Shadow still has his on deck. <laughs> no, okay. Wow, gets hit by the 5L. Now, yeah, right, we got the level up. Level one, yeah. I, I don't hate that, but no. Does get access to the teleport property on the back fist, which I think he was trying to use right there. Or it was just another reset that I didn't see coming. So I'm wondering if they're both just having stick malfunctions right now because they're missing some pretty easy stuff. Cool. At least gonna be good damage. Full family. It's the biggest. Oh. Look how big that beam is when the full family is available. <laughs> Did it. Dragon Rush covered it with a Goku assist. All right, here's a chance for Destinite to turn this around because he's about to lose that Goku Black. I almost thought that was going to win. Yeah. So Destinite's going to get the knockdown here. Not a lot of damage that can be done here, but it's Goten's and it was in the air. Ooh. I thought he like backdash maybe to bait the tag, but yeah. he didn't actually 2 Asia when it came out. Uh, we're get the smash knockdown. Oh, no. Are we going to go double up? That's the second time that's dropped today, man. People are just not ready to use that, I guess. Mm. Either way, that's the night. Happy that combo drop. Going to spin the punches and the spins. All right, here's level three. So here comes another situation. Now, the, the grounded version is different from the air version, correct? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Ooh, Destiny! Just the jump dragon rush to read the up tech. I feel it. I'm not liking him using uh, the spin as, as part of his air combo, though. I definitely want to see him do a down smash or a knockdown. Yeah, for sure. Can get a delayed go setup after. Yeah. Not really maximizing the potential of Gotenks here. Oh, just let him run in and sweep. You know, he was giving half his son a lot of chances to live, but. Yeah. Finally had to call it. If there was ever a time he should have just brought 2H. Wow, okay then. <laughs> Rebellion Spear. Oh, double axe handle. Oh, this, these guys. They're slugging it out. Barbarians. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. He tried to hit the transmission. I'm like, he was just like, I'm out of here. That was so tight. You ain't going nowhere, Goku Black. <laughs> that was so tight, actually. He couldn't get the full family because nah, he was Goku doing his own beat. <laughs> He's already doing it. Man, That's right. cute. So right. Superior Shadow is going to take it 2-0 over Destiny. Hopefully Destiny doesn't have stick malfunctions like that later on. No, in that, yeah, that was really unfortunate because I could see that after he adjusted from that into the second match, he was still a strong player. Couldn't really finish off as well as he wanted to. But after the stick malfunction, he just didn't feel like playing anymore. No, it's hard to keep your cool when something like that happens. Yeah. Right? Especially when you're in the middle of a comeback. Oh, that's no, what, that's sure. what happened. He actually was like in the middle of coming back with Gotenks. Mm -hmm. He still had some sparking left. The momentum was in his court, and then yeah. to just have it deaded by a stick malfunction, it doesn't feel good at all. It, it happens, you know, and like you, you obviously switch mind frames from that situation where you're just like, okay, now I got to see what's wrong with my stick, and I hope it's still working. And then the guy is apparently nice enough to let you play it out. You're yeah. like, oh, great, now I got to get back into competition mode. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And that's a, that's another great point, right, is yeah. that, uh, that was probably winner's bracket of the pool, and it's, he's going to have to deal with that for the rest of the tournament. Who yep. knows what else he signed up here for. So, yeah, it's definitely a whole another issue that he's going to have to deal with. But next up, it looks like we are going to get 
dad pool, a guy from my neck of the woods. Yeah, he, he actually say. told me this is his first tournament he's ever traveled to. Like, really? So yeah, yeah. So okay. He, so he is here, dad pool versus Brigadier Bun Bun. Ah, Brigad br yeah, Brig Brigadier, Brigadier right? Bun Bun. Yeah. Brigadier, Brigadier. Yeah, yeah, I almost right. want to say Brigadier oh. Dave, but I was like, no, wait, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he was here. He's not. I don't think so. Oh my god, dude! I, don't think I want so. to see the I want to see the big boo. Yeah, the, he know? has the, the sickest Majin boo, man. I'm it, telling you, it's so gross. I hate playing against him, but I love watching him play. <laughs> Dadpool, another one of those, right? It has uh, pretty gross mix-ups. He runs, I believe, uh, Cell, Go Tanks, and 16. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So Will Reynolds, uh, this is a ruin. Uh, Reynolds also plays now. But. Yeah, Reynolds recently picking up that team in response to uh, some of the troubles he was having at the summit. Okay. Um. Probably not the last team he's going to play before Evo, honestly. Yeah, I, I, well, I talked to him recently. He said that he will. He's going to try to stick with that team through Evo, so we'll see. Okay. But yeah, again, Dadpool, like I said, uh, playing the Cell Goteng 16 definitely has some gross stuff. Has a lot of Goteng shenanigans. Uh, some that he stole from Sonic Fox, but some that he came up with originally. I'll hey, give you that. Hey man, those gimmicks are strong. Like no. they may be sour, but they're strong. I actually only say that because he told us to never say that we stole that he stole tech from Sonic Fox. I'm like, bro, you definitely did. Wow. Because <laughs> he definitely didn't use the auto combo stuff before Sonic Fox. Did. Oh no, yeah, yeah a lot so of people were like, not even looking at that. Bruh. Now he uses it though. When he so. saw Sonic Fox mash that, yeah, yeah he was like, okay, everybody was like, like light went stole on. Tech, bro. Light bulb went up. It's like, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. So, but nah, nah, he's actually a pretty creative player. Definitely strong at Wednesday Night Fights. Has gotten top three multiple times. I'm not sure if he's ever won one, but I know he's been in Grand Finals. Well, I, I definitely have seen him play, and he would be one of my favorites to get out of this pool that he's yeah. in. I, I agree. I think he's a strong enough player to make out of pools at a major for sure. Oh, do you know if they're doing three out here? No, uh, Three out? I do not know. Okay. Shall see. Not that I've heard. Uh, now, Brigadier Bun Bun, never even heard of this guy, but this is the kind of tournament that's this a, is, you know, that's where a tight name too. people are just kind of. <laughs> I like that name. Yeah, Brigadier Bun Bun? Yeah. People are just going to be popping up out of the woodworks here just to see what they got, and they're going to have some weird teams, not the least of which will feature Adult Gohan, Tijanon, and Beerus. Beerus? On Anchor. What? If he's got Beerus combos, man. I want to see him out of the pool. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I would definitely love some, to see more of that. You got some uh, beer shenanigans? I'll take it. Yes. Wow, yeah. jumps right into that jump in. And Brigadier Bun Bun already in trouble. And the old triple B. Oh, snuck to the other side. We couldn't get the combo. Wow. wow. Just a 5H in the skies. Parker said enough to know that he didn't use a super dash, though. Oh, that's weird. That, that, you just have to know that happens. Two ships passing in the night. Yes, sir. You got the Tien Shin Han in. Oh. Stuffs it. The Hits jump line for Tien is good. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's great. Um, his jump in is also good. I mean, every, all of his buttons are just yeah. at the, at the Oh, yeah, you're from NorCal. You know what's up. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> the, you have to fight him all day. That's a crane school. Yeah. yeah. Oh, going to use the H-Version on the ground. Yeah, it's still plus frames. Oh, you got to hold all of that. But great blocks, though. Great blocks from Bigger Deer Bun Bun. Yep. Not oh, oh, not left. No. So, yeah, that's a lot of blocks, though, when you actually end up blocking a Galactic Donut so he cannot jump out of it. Gets his legs split. Yeah. That pool, though, not looking clean on his combos. Had a chance to kill off the Gohan, but and that be it. has been the story of today where people just had a chance to finish off, and they just did it. And right there, he obviously could have level freedom. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. He could have got Gohan out of there. Yeah. Well, oh, Dapple's going to take the opportunity to get Gotenk style, bringing that 16. Oh, this is bad. He's in the corner. Doesn't get enough bar for a level 3, though. Still not a good place to be when you're fighting a 16. Wow! Oh. Resets. Yeah, Bun Bun did down tech. He think he had a small window of punishing, but didn't take advantage of it in time, and Dapple got him down to his last character. He probably surprised himself there because yeah, he just was not so. ready. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, man. It's hard to say what Beerus needs to do to win any match other than hope his opponent doesn't reflect or Super Dash. Yeah, right. Uh, Super Dash, the bane of Beerus' existence. You know? I mean, if you, if you are godlike at baiting that with the... Uh, oh, that's, that's good. That is legit yeah, good. That's invulnerable. Like, if you're good with that, then maybe. Well, you see the reflect already coming out. Yeah, he's uh, like, please, let me, don't, <laughs> don't touch me. Yeah, with the sparking on deck as well, he should be. Be able to finish the job. All right. That was sick. All right, bad fool. You're trying to get on high fights, top 10. I understand. All right. That's a real thing. Shout out to high fight. Yeah, yeah it really is. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to say on commentary. Is, oh, this guy's trying to get on high fights. I see you. <laughs> bad fool. Going to take the first game. 
strong showing from Dadpool. Bring it here, Bun Bun might want to rethink what he's trying to do with this team. May not have enough time to figure that out now, but I'm assuming when he goes to the loser's bracket or when he goes back home, he's probably going to look at this and say, what am I trying to accomplish? Yeah. You know, if I'm just trying to play the characters I like, that's fine, but I also want to win. Oh, 2H was ready for the falling button. Yeah, that was a little telegraph. Bun Bun. That's the deal with this corner pressure. Gotenks assistance there. Falling mix up good blocks, but the nope. R cancel gets snuffed out. Now, I like that he wanted to get out of it because he definitely was not willing to switch out the Gohan in the last match. So he's already showing some signs of better decision making. Timing, on the other hand. Oh, no, man. You just got to go for that jump up. You got to. There you go. Oh, but no conversion. Dadpool gonna bring back in Gotenks, and no surprise, he uses the H mixer, or the, the H spin, excuse me, afterwards. Oh, that was interesting. What did he even hit him with? Oh, Super Dash again behind the TN assist. No smash knockdown. Now, the interesting thing about the orb, though, is that it will actually keep your opponent from moving if it's too close, because then they're gonna see that he's expecting my Super Dash, yeah. you know? It's a couple of layers to that thought process, but unfortunately, Bigger Deer Bun Bun not really maximizing the potential. I can't say that without smiling either. <laughs> maximizing the potential of the orb in somebody's face. Oh, chased him down. Yeah, no smash. All right, nice blocks again. Got to hold this for quite a bit. Able to sneak in advantage to get out. Oh, uh, galactic donut. Was not ready for not your turn yet. Oh, punish that, baby. All right. With the key blast and wasn't ready for Brigadier Bun Bun to uh, Now you know up. I know, but does Brigadier Bun Bun know how much damage Vincent Hawk can do? <laughs> I hope he does. Uh, he's gonna have to. Yeah, he already used the Super Dash when he got the raw attack in, so no ability to chase that down. He needs to use the uh, back if he was, face. If he was level one, he could have yeah, got the back Yeah, face. if he was level one, that is. Oh, uh, that's gonna... Nah, not quite. Uh, I was expecting maybe a level 3 for the hard knockdown afterwards. Oh, you can get another tackle. Yeah. Hey, there it is. Okay, he's done. No! Ooh, tried to dragon rush after it. I don't think he had to. He just he just did level 1 with it. Yeah, he could have just done level 1. I think he could have just done command grab into level 1 as well. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, Brigadier Bun Bun's Gohan actually lived through the sparking regen. STN now. Nice oh. on the vanish. That jump, that falling in, man. Yeah. Gotta be ready for it. Gotta be ready for a 2H of your own. He's built to three bars. Yeah, all right, so he's not going to be happy here. He's probably going to get crossed up in the corner because I can tell right now he's not ready for that. My man, he's not looking pleased. Six bars, though. Better use it. There it is. Child oh, but he stays ducking. I know he might be tall. But Smart man. <laughs> as long as you stay ducking. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> At least Chauncey's still alive. Man. Yeah, right. right? Chauncey gets to fight another day. That's what I'm talking about. Even though, you know, TM perished. <laughs> I forgot about that part of the equation. I feel like Tim should get a buff every time he kills, like, uh, Oh, yeah, right? Oh, no. Just a combo. Almost got a clean reset because Dapple wasn't ready for it. Finds the Dragon Rush on the Reflect attempt. And Ren's why is this working out? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> Bun Bun, channeling the powers. He saw not only the Chaozu, you know, miss and whiff, but Tien just perished altogether. Like, I can't let those guys go out like that. You no. gotta do something. Wow! Busted wow. out with the DP. Man, he has so much meter, too. <gasps> All right, that's it. No, it's not. He's, why'd he spin meter on that? There ah. we go. Okay. Jesus Christ. Super Dash cleans it up. Fist bump has already been completed. So Dadpool will be moving on in his pool in winter side, I believe. I think Dadpool tried to ride that out a little bit too long, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Is he like one of those guys that just likes to style when he gets a chance to? Because yeah. he was definitely yeah, he bumping definitely the grabs, man. He does. He, like, yeah, that one combo where he just whipped the command grab with the Gotenks assist. Yeah, like, man. He definitely was talking to himself before the match. was like, I'm hitting this on stream. Like, he's one of those. <laughs> he's like, I'm hitting this on stream for sure. So. Oh, man, if I would known he was doing that, would have popped off harder for him. <laughs> I didn't even know what he was going for. It was such a, no, a weird thing. That yeah. I was like, I couldn't even believe it happened. Yeah, like, and he and he's one of those, too, where I think, like, he tries to work in the B&Bs to be kind of unorthodox. Right, yeah. To be kind of like that. So he's just one of those, you know, creative-ish players. Hey, that's cool. I love to see those, you know. Yeah, definitely. Speaking of players we love to see, we got the homie. Oh, yeah, he's the homie for sure. You are Kizzy, Kizzy K. K. Yeah, that's the boy. Yeah, man. This is the guy that, uh... There are a few people that I believe in the FGC deserve all the success in the world. 
Kizzy K definitely at the top of the list. Yeah, Kizzy K, uh, definitely a training partner of mine for uh, a couple of years now, actually. Uh, yeah, somebody I always turn to to play, to learn. He's great at exposing player habits very quickly. Mm -hmm. He's great at adapting. And those are always the players you want as training partners, Definitely. Because right? they're going to force you to uh, think outside the box, to alter your strategy. They're not going to let you autopilot at all. And he's one of those. Mm. And, like, um, I know that Kizzy K uh, plays multiple games, obviously, but yeah. across all those games, he's just so good at uh, what you said, exposing the player weaknesses yeah. and whatnot. Um, I just hope he drop trunks. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, you know, another Vegito Blue player, actually. Are you? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. We're in business then. Yeah. Um, as despite me playing trunks still, <laughs> I know that is a barrier for success in this game, unfortunately. To be successful with trunks in this game, you kind of just got to pray sometimes, <laughs> yeah. honestly. You got to have hands of gold and, you know, some good karma with yeah. the man upstairs. But, but if he's running Vegito Blue, I think that's an X factor. Yeah, you got you are like do as I say, not as I do, right? right? You know, he is a trunks player, and I feel that. I feel that for sure. And because he has been messing with a lot of Vegito Blue lately, I'm trying to remember who he backs that guy up with. I think he still does have Vegito assist, but I'm just kind of blanking at the moment. I think for Vegito Blue, you would want someone that they have a he projectile have that assist. they I'm can't tripping. Tripping. super dash through. Yeah, that's yeah, the main yeah. thing. So probably a beam. Uh, you don't ever want Vegito in the back because his assist will. I mean, it's good for extension, and yeah. it might be okay for corner pressure, but mid-screen, not. Nah. Yeah, and I feel like at this point, right, when he's still a relatively new character, you want him on point to uh, expose that lack of knowledge. That yeah, definitely. I mean, you're going to see probably a lot of 5L, which goes extremely far. Yeah, 5L and is a pretty strong button. Yeah, I don't... I don't know, man. Like when I get hit by that stuff, it's like the slowest burn ever. <laughs> oh yeah, yo, that's a great point. Getting yeah. hit by Vegito combos feels so bad. Dude, this <laughs> you're just, just takes sitting there forever. watching. You're just sitting there watching. And then he's got the grab to end it. He's just like, okay, he can do like three things here. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, Vegito Bardock cell. That's right. That's right. That is a strong cell. Yeah, Holy man, crap! My man mixes you for sure. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff with Vegito already, backed by those two assists, where it's not really hard to block, but it prevents you from up-backing or it prevents you from banishing. Like, it covers those gaps very well. Right. And we got, uh, now not to gush too much over Kizzy, but we got Nova Pal here running a Dolgo on and a Piccolo Ooh. in the middle. Okay, okay. Now, we know about some Piccolo players we out do, here, you know? We do, for sure. I think both of them are here, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe Beneath is in the building as well. Uh, Hook Gang God getting here, I believe, at midnight last night. So. so the question here being, does he know about the sword normal? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I hope he does. That jump light. Yeah, that is a legit nuisance. Oh, and Kizzy K actually used to play a Do Gohan, so he should know this matchup. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, converting off the Bardock assist. And I will say, despite the fact that at uh, later strengths of his buttons, getting good range. The light attacks for Gohan, not that strong. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, now that 2L doesn't scale like a medium. It's not, yeah. that, it's not that wild. Yeah, but Kizzy K getting that work done. Coming to get himself a taste of this cell pressure. Boy, that gets to level three after the perfect attack. He wants you to make you eat this mix-up already. Ugh. He's not quite in the corner. Oh, so he it's, went with the empty It's low. still strong, yeah. it's still strong. All right, good reaction. <laughs> Ooh, just pokes back with a 5L, all right. Hey, yeah, man, sometimes he just can't respect. Kizzy K, definitely the kind of guy that will respect when he feels like he has to, but if you're just going to let him hit the button, that's it. Yeah, I think, uh, I was going to say Vegito, but Kizzy is very good at cycling through his defensive options. Oh, for sure. And right now, Nova Pal has not landed to land a scratch on... Oh, that's a bad reflect. Yeah, no one punished, though. Because he already committed to something. doesn't recognize the 2M when he sees Oh, easy. my God. It's going to take forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since he's Why does he get to do that? <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, Vegeta <laughs> and Goku, man. Yeah. <laughs> he better get to do cool you know, stuff. His jump S hits above him. You know that? <laughs> All right, yeah, and he would use that sparking to great effectiveness, right? Level one, just to make sure a character goes down. Yeah, uh, I remember a couple months ago, um, Chris Z was telling me that the reason, the top reason for him to spark up is to kill the second character specifically. Yes, Always exactly. the second character. Yeah. So then you're, you're 3v1, I mean, you're not that worried about your opponent having sparking at that point. Totally. Well, he actually went one overhead into the low. Good blast from Nova Pal. Oh, teleport punch overhead. Don't know about that, Baroness, and runs right into an auto combo. 
I mean, because he has three bars. He usually does spend it. Uh, I like it. He's going to run up the sparking. Still going to get a hard knockdown with the nastiest mix-up in the game. You actually have to guess. Yeah. You can't yeah. see it. There's no reacting. <laughs> you can't see it, man. Ooh, nice extension with Vegito Blue. Oh, All right, that went on a little too, too long. Yeah, too much hit stun. Rebellion Spirit. Ooh, nice reflect. Oh, he actually interrupted the Super Dash. There's the Sand Light again. Wow, the Medium Rebellion Spirit. Yeah, that doesn't ever work like that. I can't believe he got that to hit. Again. <laughs> Got beamed for it. All right, Nova Powell with uh, he going for it. I respect it, man. Yeah. A lot of people would give up right now, but keep fighting, man. The only thing that sucks about that though is it takes him out of the corner. And the mix-up is okay, but not that strong in the middle of the screen. Yeah, exactly. He does get the dragon rush though. Gonna try to finish him off. Long. No, it's not enough. No. Goku, you do so little damage. <laughs> Oh, call him out! That's how I'm telling you. He's really good at cycling through his defensive options, including the reversal level three. That is, that's rough too, because you literally saw him do the the, the cockback motion yeah, yeah, right. in real time. I was like, wow, that. You see uh, that jab whip? You see the cockback? Yeah. You're like, oh, no, <laughs> pal. Don't do Buddy. it like that, man. <laughs> Buddy. Oh. Whiff Reflex, no. Nope. We haven't seen a lot of whiff punishes on Whiff Reflex. The jump H, it's a big button. Jeez. <laughs> Why does that work? <laughs> Yo, who do you be playing? No, that plays Vegito. Just I can tell it. Oh, okay, Online, okay. man. I was like, I, I can tell that this is genuine pain. This is this is pain <laughs> that I'm doing right now. Yeah. Where you just saw, like, I think he dropped it. It didn't jump S. Like, what? <laughs> nah, you just got to keep holding it. Oh, the jump H. Again, yeah, Vegito Blue, I mean, it, that 2M is a low, but it takes a long time to come out, so. No, it's good, yeah. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> this is what Broly wanted to be. No, the 2M again that time. Yeah, man. Yeah, I feel like Nova Power. Like, He's so concerned with that button at this point. That's why he's eating like the instant air oh, yeah. jump H's and whatnot that we saw last time. The thing is, like you said, it's extremely slow. You can't react to it, but he's just not in that mindset right now. And he another is. thing is that like uh, his universal overhead doesn't look that different from the crouch M. Very true. So when you're like you're still fairly new and playing against this character, you might get opened up. He hasn't really gone. There it was right there. Yep. Was the 6M. And the thing is like, if Vegito reflects you, that 2M is coming. And it's going to yeah. catch every time. Ooh, Kizzy K on a tear. Yeah, jump age so much block stun, and then he gets the dragon rush afterwards right as you come out of it. And I don't think a lot of people talk about it, but Vegito's jump L also pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good harassment. Five yeah. L, there it is, man. All the time in the world to confirm that to anything you want, jump S. Yeah. Uh, bring him back into the corner, of course. Yeah. You're not going anywhere. Hasn't even had to use his parking yet. All right, that was a good guess on uh, Nova Pal's part. Misses the 2M, though. I'm going to block in time. New hold the vanish. Nice reflect. Yeah, Nova Pal with all that meter, he's going to have to use it. Still got the sparking working for him. Might as well just use it. Make him guess. There it is. Don't let up. Good back dash from Kizzy. And it may not look like it, but Kizzy K had to sniff that out. That was brilliant on his part, but that was not free. Yeah. Great back dash, punishing the whiff reflect with a 5L. It goes so far. Mm -hmm. That's what led to this combo. Oh, 2H into the super in the top row. Is that the OS? Yeah, man. All the way through. That's that's good OS. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kizzy K takes a 2-0. He'll be moving on in the winner's bracket, of course, representing UYU. UYU? Kizzy K, one of the favorites to get out of the pool, obviously. Maybe even make it the top 32, I want to say. Oh, yeah. Because he's so. looking really strong. And he's got the Vegito on his side. Definitely, I feel like a character he's gelling with pretty hard. Oh, yeah. Like, I feel like when he was playing earlier in the game with Dragon Ball Fires, whether it be Trunks or Gohan, uh, I don't know. It, felt, it didn't feel very Kizzy to me. No, it definitely looked like he was trying to play a role there, not yeah. necessarily something that he was comfortable with. Yeah, but with this Vegito team, I like it a lot. Like He usually goes into, he'll get the hard knockdown with the level threes from Bardock with right. any character, right? He's always ready for that direct Z change to get that uh, hard knockdown and put you in that 
Oh, the terrifying mix up. How are you supposed to deal with that? You can't, man. That's like, I, I, I was talking to Reynolds and he told me, like, you can't see it. You yeah. literally can't see it. Yeah, and Reynolds has great reactions. That's no, like, I, yeah. So, and the, the, the super messed up part about it is we saw this during Nokia set earlier is that when you hit them just outside of the corner, because yeah. then you can dash over and it's a cross up and they don't dash far enough to where they don't hit you. So you come down with a cross up. It's so gross. That's scary, though, it's man. So like, I would, who would do that? That was a four. I mean, it, I'm just saying sometimes it ends up like that, you know? No, yeah, you get yeah, the level yeah, three, yeah. like, right outside the corner. Oh. Ugh. All right. Uh, looks like we got our next match coming up soon. A couple of them. I'm digging that hat, though. That's a, that's a very smart hat to have in Oh, Florida. yeah. Because that's I, a vacation hat. I'm in Daytona hat. Yeah, exactly. You can wear that on the beach. Man, speaking of which, I can't believe how close the beach is to this event. I know, right? <laughs> I, 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 I know right there. Said, yeah, I know Jabaley said it was on the beach, but like, I didn't think I was gonna literally be able to like walk to it in two minutes. <laughs> That's pretty wild. And this is my first time actually on a non-West Coast beach too. So, same, yeah. same, same. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, enjoying that. So we got Zero E Lopez versus Fusion X2. Okay. Couple of guys I have not heard of yet, but this tournament yeah. has been surprising me all day. Yeah, most likely some local Floridian has that hat ready to go. Oh yeah. Whether well, be sun, I don't know how good that'd be against the thunderstorms. Oh no, that, th that thing's getting lit up. Yeah, but the sun definitely, definitely good protection. So we got Bardock, Android 21, and Goku Black. Is this a Florida thing? Is like Bardock, Goku Black a Florida thing? <laughs> I don't know. There's been a lot of it, though. Yeah. They want yes, that Bardock with the right? beam. Yeah. Is he going to stand up and play? He is going to stand up and play. All right. All right. I respect. My man sat down and picked his characters. But <laughs> play. That's, time. that's the mix. He's like, I got to get that energy flowing from my legs to my hands. Yeah, that's the mix. Oh, man. Yeah, usually I like uh, Bardock being paired with assists like 16, an assist that can keep you grounded. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a little bit harder to confirm off beams and whatnot, but we'll see if this man's got it ready. I mean, with like an Android 16 assist, you actually get a free Rebellion Sphere follow-up, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow. They both started oh, with Medium Rebellion Sphere? Great minds. Yo. <laughs> Is that they got this? They gotta be on the same wavelength. Yeah, this gotta right? be Florida boys. The Florida things, you know. <laughs> nice nice extension there. Yeah, Zero E Lopez looking good though. Oh, in terms of his combos. Oh, oh wow. Was that the Smash version? Yeah, it looked like he flipped out even before Zero E Lopez was expecting him to. Yeah. Wow. Let's go. Hold the Android 21 assist to follow up the Rebellion Spear. That was the Air Rebellion Spear too. It yeah, a real combo. That was so cool. Still going as well, yeah. I was gonna say it's a little bit long on this combo. Hit stun yeah, wearing out. Had to finish that soon, but all right, he just keeps the pressure going. Even them plus frames. Man! Plus, I press a button on that 5H. Yeah. Just was not ready to defend against that. Yeah. Oh man, but here comes Android 21, aka Jump M controls the space <laughs> in the room. <laughs> Use the auto combo follow up after the bash, get a launcher. Yeah, a really nice, uh, really smart on uh, Zero E Lopez to just get out of the corner there, and now he's got the pressure. And it's really not a bad space for her to be in. If she's in the corner, she's got corner pressure. If she's in the mid screen, she's just making you respect jump M at all times. Quick yeah. ability still as well before the level three. Oh, did he press a button? No. no nice. Uh, I would have autopiloted right into that <laughs> level three. So, she didn't use the ability either. I, I wanted to see the ability to use the cover combo. Oh, baby! This could. Oh, he only got two bars, though. He's still got three bars. Both of four them. bars. In Let it, it go. Let it rip. Boom! Boom! Yo, Goku Black doesn't get to play. Just melted him. Yo, how do you not come off the bench and knock it down? I know, right? And die. <laughs> oh, wait! Oh, reversal level three. Okay, all right, calm down, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's not real. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Whole lot of life. Oh, that damage. Yeah, some of it being regen. Had a little bit of sparking left, but it's up now. Whoa. So remember, people were telling us that people weren't looking for that. That's a real tick grab. Heavy command grab, definitely good. Oh, oh yeah, he's like, let me out of that. Yeah. No more of that, please. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it's uh, more successful now because people are more willing to block than they were at the beginning of right. the game, right? 
especially against Tenshinhan, who is known to just open you up and do chunks of damage. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is get hit by a normal, and then here comes the EX command grab, mm -hmm. which you don't get a lot of damage off of, but the point is he opened you up, yeah, and now okay. you're on your back. Yeah. Rebellion's through openers, man. We do those. That is the Bardock life. Yes. Ooh, Ooh speaking right. of Bardock life. One Wait. of the best two H's in the game. Delay rise, but nice timing. Still got him with a media anyway. Oh, that's plus. Oh, no. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. He knew that you knew that it was plus. Zero E. Lopez got zero reactions. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna extend it with the Goku Black Assist. Oh, no. Yeah, that's not another knockdown. Well, they're death following him. Gotta respect it. It's not your turn yet, baby. That two H in the air, just to stay a little bit longer, throw off the trajectory of what Fusion was expecting. All right, keep him in the corner. Now, what's her mix up here? I'm not really sure. I guess IADH. No, it's going for 2L. All right. Dang, that was actually, I respect that. The meaty 2L to bait out the reversal, continue pressure. Yeah, again, no slide knockdown. Yeah, now, now he's in trouble. Dragon Rush. Ooh, another ability steal. They're pulling Bardock. Bardock on Bardock once again. Who's going to Rebellion Spear first? And I want to oh. say, both of these guys doing a great job keeping their teammates healthy. Yeah, definitely doing a good job cycling through their characters, making sure they get to recover this blue life. And Fusion's got some more blue life to recover after this combo, if he makes it out of this level three. Mm. This is almost guaranteed I, damage. Yeah, I wonder if he uses the sparking here. They haven't seen a lot of level one sparkings to preserve their characters, so right now. I honestly would. With the amount of oh, oh. with the amount of life he had left, it was definitely worth it to spark and then tag out. Oh, he tries to guess on the mix up, guesses incorrectly. A fusion bring in a go through black. Oh no, that'll work. But now recovering time to punish the guard cancel. And like the crazy thing is like you want to catch an airborne Bardock with 2H so badly, but he's got Rebe Rebellion Spirit. It'll just throw off your timing altogether. Okay, I like that confirmed. No follow-up though. Oh, just tag Go Black, Black for a struggle. Get out right, of here, you know? yeah. I don't want to hear nothing. Uh-oh. Use that spark just to keep that Bardock alive. Ugh, that's it for Tension Han though. Yeah. Guessing a little too hard on the two H's. I mean, he might have saw an up coming, a, a jump coming, but there's really no reason to throw it out there. Fusion still has the sparking available. Gonna use the H dot slicer, gonna slide knock down here. Try for the H instant transmission to catch him sleeping. Will catch him sleeping with the command grab, but he just sparks from full screen. That's not a combo, my friend. I don't know, but hey, it's not too bad for him right now. The, the meaty dragon. dragon rush going for the snap out. Yo, I thought he was gonna air dragon rush. Oh, he don't. He ain't ready. Yeah. Zamas assist coming through. He is not ready. No, he was like, no more, please. Oh, Get me out. <laughs> I can't block that. All right, the guard cancel. Okay, that's gonna put him out. No, it didn't fall up. He's gonna put him out of sparking. There you see the portrait flashing white, indicating the sparking just about over for Fusion. He's gonna have to make this comeback without it now. And Zero E. Lopez needs to calm down because he's eating raw beam and not taking Dragon Rush. Yeah. And this is not bad for Fusion X2. He's got all the momentum here, despite not having the health or meter advantage. Oh, we got the Goku Black Mirror now. All the way down to that. Oh, he's you're not swung. gonna he's Dragon swung. Rush me he's again. Swung. Yeah, he Dragon Rush. Yeah. That's what he did. Do that one more time. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's super dash. He will dodge the dive kick and catch him. Not a lot of damage here, but still, Fusion X2 in a lot of trouble here. One more touch and he's done. Solo guard cancel. Gets him to the other side. And on the other hand, he needs to at least touch Zero E Lopez three times to kill him. Oh, there it is. That's number one. And start with a jump age for a decent starter. Oh, doesn't uh, go with the hard knockdown. I don't know about that. Yeah, doesn't he might have level three. Maybe looking for a reset. Oh! 
should have level three that, man. That was prime. Yeah, Zero E Lopez this time, closing it out with the Dragon Rush. That was the main of his play, right? Yeah. So on defense, he was getting opened up by those Dragon Rushes a lot. But uh, eventually, was able to use it to his own advantage and take the game. We'll move on in the winner's bracket. Here at the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour. Again, this is the soccer one start. Yeah, bro. And this is a match. I know you we aren't getting to it just yet, but the players are coming up to sit on it right or to sit on their seats right now. It's gonna be Soji versus No Kami. This is a match I'm very much looking forward to. Of course, it's Soji, one of the Japanese players that hasn't traveled that much for Dragon Ball Fighters, but mm -hmm. very, very strong. Going up against No Kami. Now, Kami is a uh, online warrior. Uh, yeah, from, from the what East I know. Coast. Yeah, mm -hmm. from the East Coast. Uh, also, very good at the games he plays. Uh, I, I don't. I can't remember what team he plays in this game because I haven't seen him play in a while but he's definitely one of those that puts in a lot of work lab monster tech monster so I want to see how he goes up against Soji I don't even know who Soji plays honestly yeah I haven't seen Soji play in a minute either he usually uh, frequents the uh, Tokyo events when it comes to Dragon Ball oh, Fighters, okay, I believe, okay. from what I understand because I have seen a couple of uh, finals with him versus Kazunoko right and that's usually in the Tokyo region right while right. Osaka has the Osaka's the Cyclops guys right yeah, yeah. The Cyclops Osaka boys. Well, that's cool. I'm glad to see that because uh, usually it was mostly the Osaka guys coming out to play. Yeah. And and Kazunoko. Now we're seeing more. Uh, you know, we're seeing um, Finrich more. We're yes. seeing more um, East Japan. Seeing Moke more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more of East Japan coming out as well. Because I mean, the Osaka boys just took to this game so quickly. Yeah, right? they did. Like, it's wild. Dogura and Goichi just figured this game out so quick. And uh, it really led to their success that we've already seen, right? Goichi had a dominant run to start this game's lifespan. Uh, starting to, you know, get dethroned a little bit a here little and there. A little bit. People uh, are catching up, and he's, I think he's even getting so used to the mix-ups that he's not blocking the simple stuff anymore. Mm, and exactly. that's what I think, because like, he's getting hit by Dragon Rush. Yeah. Um, not really getting hit by the left, the 50-50s so yes. much. He's got, like, great luck on that end. I have not seen him get put in a Bardock mix yet, though. Yeah. That's the ironic thing. That's true. The The way that uh, Goichi plays, right, he plays very controlled, plays very defensive. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, when he has to block now, he's kind of gotten in his own head, right? He knows. Yeah. He knows he's one of those players that wants to know every possibility and every option. And you so can't. You just can't. That, yeah, and that's the thing. that That's a gift and a curse because it's quite a burden to juggle all of that in your mental, mm -hmm. you know, in your small mental capacity while you can. And you got to think about new characters on top of that. Like, forget about it. Oh, speaking of new characters. Oh, okay. We got a Samasu in the building. Is that Kami? Is that no Kami? Sure. Could be. He is listed on a player two side. So, and he's one of those where I feel like he would bring out the Zamasu at a tournament okay. like this. Zamasu is someone that a lot of people feel is going to be pretty strong in this game. Uh, very unique. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He has the fly mode uh, that he can block out of. A lot of people think that's very strong. And he's got the general. And, and, but on top of that, he's also got you know the kid boo and the cell assist behind him, which oh, means yeah. a lot of his stuff is just going to be nasty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm definitely looking for an old comedy to put it on display here. Yeah, we are starting already. Nice reflect when this is going to do this. is coming out. Oh, but mm, 2S mix-ups are so strong. Yeah. And that's just that, that's just pure kid boo. That's all him. Ooh, guard cancel. Picked the proper time. Able to blow past the S. Oh, man. Walking back a little too much. Had to hold that arm ball. And Kami's the one doing all the blocking and the one getting hit so far. Soji four bars on there. Yeah, Soji already with four bars. What the heck? Yeah, man, hasn't spit a super yet. Oh, and of course, oh, Vegeta side says, switch. as strong as ever at it, punishing Vanish out of the corner. Just to make sure. And you see, despite Vegeta being in the anchor roll, making sure he ends the combo with Cell mm -hmm. so that he has a uh, stronger point backed up by the two assists. Which is like really smart. Not a lot of people do that. Some people will end it with Vegeta and then try to switch him out immediately yeah. after the round starts. Okay, not getting a chance to see a lot of Zamasu here, but this kid who might be done if he gets touched one more time. He's gonna put him in that state, right? He's gonna put him in that health capacity where he will die in one hit. 
and no Kami getting lit up right now. I really like that. I've seen more and more players starting to use that as uh, the universal overhead as just a harassment tool, right? Right. Like, because if you get hit, you're keeping the plus frames. Like, it's still your turn. We saw Kami try to press buttons afterwards. Right. No, you can't do that. Like, the it only is zero on block, but not on hit. The only thing that you would do in that situation is if you have a reversal and they hit, they're more likely going to do another button yeah, afterwards. Exactly. You got to blow them up for it. Oh, so Tommy's got it. Oh, man. I was going to say he's got to like, come back with solos of Masu, but... That didn't look real. No, it didn't look real whatsoever. So he just with a up tech back dash and he dropped the elbow on him. And actually quick get rid of that arm ball assist, but ugh, could not get a cross up 2H off of that. And it's not going to be a lot of damage because it's off of incoming, but... Oh, so no he finds the tag. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's just textbook right there. Yeah, that's the kid boost stuff, right? You yeah. get them to block an air S, that means you, they're in block stun. Oh, that 2M's coming. Exactly. And what do most people do when they're playing a kid boo? They always in the air. They're like, I do not want to deal with the 2M. Got his last clip. We'll see if Kami can come back Ooh, with a okay. Yeah, that's the mystery knockdown. It actually goes into the orbs as well. Locks oh. wasn't back to buy an assist at all, but it opens up Soji regardless. No, he can't. Waste those opportunities against the likes of Soji, man. <laughs> oh, man, did not get a chance to punish that grab. Okay, oh, I like right. that, I like that. You got to hold that. Ooh, but it was too late for him to get a confirm off of that. Yeah, and Soji doesn't want to deal with any of that again. Mm, no, I don't blame him. Let me take that offensive momentum for myself. I'll spin the sparking cord and everything. I mean, it doesn't help that he couldn't even see his character in the middle of all that. I think Soji got hit by that vanish because he was trying to raw tag. He also walked into the vanish. Yeah. All right, I like that. Keep him healthy. But I would also get him out of there right now because I... Okay. The 2H again. Both there we go. Spinning, sparking level one just to keep their characters alive. And he's not blocking that instant air dash on medium. Yeah, that's strange. Soji just kind of let him do that. And that was a very telegraphed air dash to him. Yeah, it was very much like one of those where it's like, all right, we all agree that you're going to block this, right? Like, right? I'm just doing this to put you in block stuff. But and <laughs> yeah, and they're like, oh, man, yeah, hope right. I'm ready to come yeah. firm off of that. Thanks. All right, no Kami in complete control here, um, making this Zamasu work out for him. And this might just be Soji having no idea what to do against Zamasu. Oh, yeah, I mean, got him to block long enough for that, and the guard cancel was punished. Now, you don't need to know what to do against that. That's just straight up kid boot. Do kid boot stuff. Oh! oh! No up back from Kami. Just goes into the waiting arms of kid boot. All right, there goes Zamasu. And I got to say, that probably isn't too bad for no Kami right now, because his new character's gone. He's still got Cell and kid boot in the back. You got the best mix-up in the game here. Yeah. Well, other than Bardock. Deal with the on top of it. Wow, it just goes with a super dash. Again, I mean, super dash is so good, right? It would be yeah. Dragon Rush beats the lows in that scenario. Yeah, we tried to deny it for so long, but super dash is just good. Oh, yeah. She can act as a fake cross up, right? There's so many uh, utility. I mean, most of it is guessing, but. <laughs> you can't spark to get out of this one. Ooh, that's clean. All right, it's all up to Kid Boo Anchor. No Kami, still not out of this yet. Good block. A lot of people like to get anxious to hit a button after that. Yeah, that's big chilling. Yeah, he blocked that 5-H in the air right there, so no way he could take his turn. Yeah. Whoa, what a read. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Again, if you block something in the air, that's six additional frames of block stun. So, so keep that in mind. He tried to reflect the Vegeta assist off him, but gets opened up anyway. Gonna be close. Oh, uh, yeah, he can double that. Yeah, yeah. One more. Bang! And that's it for No Kami Soji. Very well played there. Wow, again, that read on the Vanish, the 2 H. That was clairvoyant, if I can say. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Great scouting by mm -hmm. Soji. Glad he's able to make it here to CEO. He has been to CEO before. So glad he's able to make it back this time as part of the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour here yep. in our very first saga as CEO. Yeah, and that's been some pools action. I believe that was, oh, well, it looked like winner's semifinals of that pool from what I understand. I believe so, yeah. But yeah, no surprise that we'll see Soji in that winner's finals later on. Oh, yeah, definitely. But before we get to any more matches, we're going to take a quick break. Swap me out because I got to go. I gotta go you prepare were, you're going to be busy. You were going to be a busy man. I got to go prepare to commentate wrestling. <laughs>
Whoa. Uh, yeah, but we'll be right back, Woo! guys. Don't go anywhere. Dragon Ball Fire is going to be here, and we will be right back.